I've had this Nikon Z 14 to 30 millimeter f4 s lens for just over a year now and in this video I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on it and why I describe it as one of the best ultra wide angle lenses on the market today. When I bought my Nikon Z7 camera, it was actually this lens that I bought first instead of one of the 24 to 70 millimeter traditional lenses. The Nikon 14 to 30 millimeter F4S lens has been my go-to lens for landscape photography and in a word, it's been excellent. Here's just a quick montage of stills and video using this lens from the year. One of the main reasons why I bought this lens was for its portability factor when it comes to hiking and traveling. It weighs in at just 485 grams, has an 82 millimeter filter thread, and has a diverse focal range from a wide 14 millimeters to 30 millimeters. This comes in very handy when I'm doing my landscape photography, as sometimes I need to adjust my focal length to crop out things like trees, rocks, or other distracting things in the foreground. Now there's the superb Nikon 14 to 24 millimeter f 2.8 S lens to consider, but it's larger, heavier, has a kind of an odd filter size of 112 millimeters and costs approximately two times more than the 14 to 30 millimeter. If you were looking at a faster wide lens in terms of aperture, maybe you were looking at doing some astrophotography. My preference would be to buy this 14 to 30 millimeter f4s lens along with the super sharp Nikon Z 20 millimeter f 1.8s wide angle prime lens. Even after buying both lenses instead of the 14 to 24 millimeter f 2.8s lens, I would have saved myself approximately $500. Now that's a lot of pizzas. What you see in front of me should give you an idea of the size comparison. This is the Nikon 14 to 30 millimeter F4S lens next to my two F mount wide angle lenses. This is the 16 to 35 millimeter F4 VR lens and the 14 to 24 millimeter F2.8 G lens. I have actually done a comparison video with the Nikon D850 with the 16 to 35 millimeter lens and the Z7 with the 14 to 30 millimeter lens. And if you are interested, I'll leave that link to that video up the top of the screen and you can check it out when you get around to it. The pros for me when it comes to this Nikon 14 to 30 millimeter lens is that it is fantastic value for the money. It's sharp, lightweight, compact for traveling, and importantly, has a common 82 millimeter filter thread so I can use my screw-in or magnetic filters while doing landscape photography. The cons, well, look, honestly, there's not many. I'm only being very picky here, I think. The lens hood, I notice, feels a little bit cheap and nasty. The one thing you have to remember is that this lens extends in and out while adjusting focal length. It's not an internal zoom lens, which in more harsh outdoor conditions does make it susceptible to elements like dust getting inside the lens. And a little side note here, the more expensive 14 to 24 millimeter f 2.8 S lens has an internal zoom, making it a little bit more weather resistant. But for the price you pay and the results you can get from this amazing little lens, I would describe it as one of the best ultra wide angle zoom lenses on the market today. 
Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time.